Good evening and welcome to this edition of the Newsletter on 6. Today is Thursday, October the 16th, 2008. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Hannah Scoggins. In tonight's news, early, early voting began yesterday. We'll have the voting schedule for the next several weeks. City leaders are considering the purchase of a bank building on Atlantic Street to help alleviate City Hall overcrowding. Heart and Hospital employees participated in a beam signing ceremony yesterday, and the THS Wildcats football team hopes for another region win tomorrow night when Maplewood comes to town. Stay tuned for these stories and much more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Police Department conducted compliance checks of businesses holding permits for the sale of beer and intoxicating liquors for off-premise consumption last month. The Police Department and representatives of the State Alcoholic Beverage Commission used an adult under the age of 21 to conduct the checks on Friday evening, September the 12th. The officers checked 29 businesses holding permits and employees at 10 of the businesses did indeed sell beer or intoxicating liquor to the minor. Employees of 8 of the 10 businesses have appeared in Municipal Court of the City of Tullahoma. Those eight offending businesses are Southeastern Discount Cola and Tobacco at 900 North Jackson Street, Raceway Market at 2200 North Jackson Street, 99 Bottles at 1940 North Jackson Street, Discount Tobacco and Beer at 475 West Lincoln Street, UFG of Tullahoma, 325 East Carroll Street, South Jackson Tobacco Shop at 1100 South Jackson Street, Serve and Go at 2125 North Jackson Street, and Discount Tobacco Outlet at 312 East Lincoln Street. Each was fined $165 payable to the Police Department Law Enforcement Fund. Two others were to appear in court at a later date. Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell released a statement saying, The Tullahoma Police Department is concerned with underage drinking and will continue to utilize unannounced compliance checks to ensure permits holders are doing their part to reduce the availability of beer and intoxicating liquors to minors. The department will utilize uh, monthly sobriety checkpoints and periodic patrols to deter and detect impaired driving in the city of Tullahoma. The police department encourages any person with information concerning underage drinking or other criminal acts to call Crime Stoppers Hotline at 461-8888. Chief Blackwell can be reached at 455-0530 for additional information on programs directed toward underage drinking and other departments initiatives. Tullahoma aldermen are considering the pros and cons of moving City Hall to a current bank location on Atlantic Street. Citizens Tri-County Bank says it will leave the building after completing a new headquarters at the intersection of Grundy and North Jackson Streets across from City Hall. The current bank building has about 19,000 uh, square feet of space, some 3,000 square feet larger than the current City Hall. Alderman says the current City Hall second floor meeting room could be retained for board meetings and court hearings. Alderman and City Administrator will meet to determine the cost and feasibility of converting the bank building for government use. The bank says it plans to break ground for the new office by next month. Alderman Jonathan James, James Eads, and City Administrator Jody Boss are studying the feasibility of the move and are to report to the board at the October 27th board meeting. Registration for voting ended Monday with some 30,000 34 registrations. Re residents now registered, about 200 more than we've had in the past, said Coffee County Election Administrator Connie Castile. Voting on November 4th will determine whether the next President of the United States will be Democrat Barack Obama or Republican John McCain. Local voters will also vote for candidates for the United States Senate, U.S. House of Representatives, Tennessee State Senate, and Tennessee House of Representatives. Early voting started yesterday and goes through October 30th. During early voting, the Coffee County Election Commission will have extended hours. Tomorrow, the office will be open until 5 p.m. Next Monday through Friday, it will be open until 5.30 p.m. During the last four days of early voting, October 27th through the 30th, it will be open from 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. And for the two Saturdays during early voting period, the the Telehoma Satellite Station at the CD Stamps Recreation Center will be open at 9 a.m. and will be open until 1 p.m. those Saturdays. 
The Tullahoma Crime Stoppers is seeking information from the public that will help authorities find and arrest the person or persons responsible for a burglary at a home at 301 Jackson Circle. The crime occurred between 9 a.m. Saturday, October the 4th, and 2.30 p.m. on Sunday, October the 5th. Collector coins and other miscellaneous items were removed from the home in the burglary. Anyone with information on this week's featured Crime Stoppers crime is urged to contact the Tullahoma Crime Stoppers uh, tip hotline at 461-8888. A cash reward of up to $1,000 is being offered for tips leading to an arrest in this case. We'll be right back in just a moment with more News Leader on 6. Welcome back. Employees at Heart and Regional Medical Center were special guests at a beam signing ceremony held behind the hospital yesterday. Each was invited to sign a beam that was later ho hosted into place by a large crane. Representatives from HMA's corporate office were also on hand, and members of the construction team were also there. A catered barbecue lunch was also served. Here is hospital CEO Matt Roberts, who made a brief comment to the crowd about the beam signing. He also alluded to a hospital employee who recently passed away. Thank you for coming out today. Uh, this is a very, very exciting day for Martin. This is, uh, if you think back to the hospital, I've seen pictures of when the hospital was first built. It's come a, come a heck of a long way. And uh, this is a big step for us. It's going to allow us to have a lot more all private rooms, almost all, all, all private rooms. And so we're really excited about this. I think it's going to be great for the community, the patients, uh, the people that work here. It's just going to be a really nice addition for Hart. And, and uh, real quick, before I go any farther, I want, to re I want to recognize a couple people that are here today. And I had to write it down so I don't forget anybody. So uh, from uh, MJ Harris, Robert Young, and Bobby Fisher. From HNA, H HNA, HMA, the company I work for. Uh, Rodney Kennedy and uh, Dennis Labrandi. Uh, from the J. Nichols Group, Jennifer Nichols. And from HCP, Jeff McMillan. And uh, give those give those folks a hand for coming in. <laughs> and if I if I got your names wrong, uh, just hit me up afterwards. I apologize. Um, anyway, like I said, this is just a great opportunity for Harden. This is a great day for everybody that works at Harden. You know, this is not for the media. Uh, you know, excluding the guy right here in front of me who's filming this. Um, <laughs> This is for everybody here, everybody here who gets a chance to put their name on uh, a part of Harton that will always be here, um, you know, as long as this hospital is here. So I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I've never been a part of one of these, and I think it's fantastic. I'm so glad that we were able to do this, and uh, I'm really glad you're all able to come today. And uh, here in just a couple of minutes, we're going to hoist that beam and put it in place, and that'll be the, the finishing part of the first step. And, you know, we're nine months away from, from seeing the finished product. So uh, I also want to bring up one more thing. Uh, you know, Harden had a, uh, we had a loss in our family this week. Um, Kay Moberry, I hope I got her last name right. I've met her and talked to her, but I, I called her Kay, so I hope I didn't butcher her last name. Um, uh, and she's going to have her funeral services today. And uh, actually, if we could have a moment of silence for her, I'd, I'd like to have that now. Thank you, everybody. Um, and uh, that's it. Now we just want to get this uh, this beam hoisted. 